Hello and welcome to the Mantle of Intelligence. My name is Nomad and joining me to battle it out in a battle of brains and wits. Well, in the right corner today, we have got Mr. Theban1437, former coach of TNC, Team Secret and various other teams and uh, all in all Dota Mastermind. Theban, how's it going? Good. Doing good. Good stuff, good stuff. You feeling confident coming into this one? Oh. Who's my opponent here? Let's see. Oh, Pinda Panda? Oh, of well, course. over on the left corner, of course, we do have Pinda Panda repping up for the streamers, for the gamers, and for everyone out there um, supporting, you know, the, the underdog, I think it's fair to say. Pinda, how are you feeling coming into this? I'm feeling confident that I'm going to beat Theban's ass. Uh, Theban, I don't know how you're feeling right now, but you're going down. In downtown. Okay, that was lame, but I, I, I don't know. That's the best I can come up with. <laughs> I like it. I like it. No, it's still better than uh, than what lyrical could do when it came to uh, trash talking. I'm uh, I'm I'm feeling confident for you, Pinder, because of course on this show we like to spice things up a little bit. So just to run you guys all through it, we start things off with a bit of Dota gameplay, but then we move into the puck of luck, where the person who is slightly behind will get a chance to spin the puck of luck and earn themselves either a precious item or there is a small chance they will get culled by an axe and be set back a further point. But hopefully they'll get themselves an item to uh, use later on. Then we go into general knowledge. Then into the guest question, which this week we have Mr. T Governor giving us a, uh, a nice little bit of insight into his uh, previous dealings. And we move in to the uh, Dota Law section, which will be presented by Anger, our resident law expert. Then we have another puck of luck, and then we move on towards the final topic, which is the Dota Pro scene, which is worth double points. So it all comes down to that final round. Guys, if you're ready, I think we should get into uh, episode five of the Mantle of Intelligence. Let's do it. Let's go. Alrighty then. So starting things off with uh, some a bit of Dota gameplay is what we're starting on. But by the way, guys, don't forget you can use your Ask Twitch Chat function at any given time. Both of you have one to use, and that'll allow Twitch Chat to help you out for a question. So don't forget that as we get into this first round. That's throughout the game. You both have one. You can spend it any time you see fit. So let's get into it. Question number one of Dodo Gameplay. Which of the following items builds into more than just one item? Is it A, the Iron Branch? Is it B, the Mantle of Intelligence? Is it C, the Slippers of Agility? Or is it D, the Gauntlets of Strength? Of course, our contestants answer via our very sophisticated answering system. There is no funny business going on here. When both of you guys have answered, we will get on to uh, to finding out what you guys put. I can't feel that Theban's coming nice and quick from this one. He ain't messing around. He's here to play some Dota. Struggling there, Pinda? No, this is just my normal <laughs> face. I'm my best when I'm very confident. Pure confidence. Wait, are you signi extruding. Uh... So what you gonna go with, Theban? Huh? Well... <laughs> you know the basic laws of Dota? Yeah, I'm, I'm going with uh, A, because uh, Mechans uses Iron Branch to make Headdress, and then you make the mech, and you can also use Iron you... Branch to make Magic Wand. That's correct, but why not Gauntlets of uh, Strength? Well, I mean, it's very simple. It just has one one item that can be built into... Yeah, that was a test question. Oh. You passed. <laughs> you passed. Alrighty, so uh, 1437, what did you go for in the end? <laughs> Cutlers of strength! <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, Pinda, what did you what did you go for? Um, yeah, Iron Bunch, for sure. Yeah, it goes with, with the... Dude, did you... <laughs> I can't right now! I can't take you seriously, it's... it's... I was gonna go with T, but I'm gonna go with A. Because <laughs> I'm like, you're supposed to type the answer right, I'm like, uh, yeah. I forgot, and I was just, okay. Can we count okay, this as okay, the draw okay. the first, yeah. to the first round? DNA. Uh, Frank not. Now this point is going to uh, Mr. Thub and 1437. Uh, it is indeed Gauntlets of Strength, which is the first item. Used to be Iron Branch, which built into loads of things, but uh, recently they did change it around. So uh, Thub and off to the early start with the first point of the game. <laughs> Let's move on to the second question. Which of the following heroes has the highest strength gain per level? Is it A, Centaur Warrunner? Is it B, Earth Spirit? Is it C, Tiny? Or is it D, Conquer? All strength heroes, but which one has the highest strength gain per level? Is it the Half-Man, Half-Horse? Is it the Earth 
guy, just, a, just basically a human boulder. Is it the also a C also a human boulder? Or is it the pirate conquer? Strength gain stats per level. Well, Earth has a lot of strength, right? So it makes sense. What's the answer <laughs> right. here? It, is it? To the, is that what you put, Faber? Well, what did Pin, what did Pinda put? Well, okay, we can start. I'm, I'm, just, trying to, I'm yeah. just trying to give some, you know, like uh, some tips to Pinda. Throw like, some rough, curves on, one, I think. Yeah, you, you have answer, indeed though? both answered, yeah, and you I both answered answer. the same thing as well. You've both gone for a Centaur Warrener, and you're both correct. It is indeed the highest strength game wow. hero did you just in remind, the game. Did you, he tried to mind trick me into choosing Earth's <laughs> Spirit. You are next level, man. I was going to go with D on the Gauntlet, but you tricked me. You tricked me! <laughs> he's uh, he's already trying to throw some curples here and throw Pinda off the scent. Uh, let's move on to question number three. How much movement speed does Tusk Snowball get per hero inside of it? Is it A, 0? Is it B, 10? Is it C, 15? Or is it D, 25? Of course, uh, you can all jump inside that snowball, chase after a hero when Tusk uses it. But how fast can that snowball get with the buddies inside it, if at all, in fact? Damn, a nice question, huh? Mm. Mm. Gotta rack those old brain cells. I mean, think about it logically. If, if you and your friends was getting inside a snowball, how fast would you would you go per friend inside that snowball? That's a question you need to ask yourself. Ah, okay. I guess it depends on the size of the friends. All right, you guys have both answered. Uh, so, Theban, it's your turn to go first. What did you put? I put D. I, I don't even know if it even gives movement speed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Guess, yeah. And Pinda, what have you put? I, I went with A, zero, because I'm drawing oh. the snowball in my head, and I don't think it gives any extra movement speed. That's what I was thinking, too. All right, well, I can actually reveal that Pinda was absolutely right. There was indeed oh! a change where they removed the snowball. This is going to draw oh, us no. even in the Dota gameplay round. What a curveball, <laughs> folks. What a curveball. <laughs> Two for two. Uh, Dang, Theban, what do you say? What do you have to say after that that stellar blow you've just received? I, I, I knew that it didn't get movement speed, but I you know just in case I was still wrong and there was still some movement speed, you know, I just had to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always respect the uh, the YOLO plays in this show, but it will leave us into question number four at a draw. So, which of the following heroes was never available to play in Aghanim's Labyrinth? Is it oh, a God. Templar Assassin? Is it B, Snapfire? Is it C, Lena? Or is it D, Magnus? Oh my god, I did not play Aghanim's Labyrinth. Disaster. Uh -oh. Binda, did I you play Twitch like Aghanim's Labyrinth? I did, I did. Uh, I'm kind of confused. Oh, okay, wait, I'm trying to remember that. Can I use Ask Twitch Chat? My Ask Twitch Chat here? You absolutely can use your Ask Twitch chat here. Um, I will have to say uh, we need to wait for Pinda to put her answer through first so that she can't uh, jump on board yeah. the Ask Twitch uh, chat as well. So once we have Pinda's answer, okay. you can ask Twitch chat indeed. Uh, Which hero it. was not inside the Agnim's Labyrinth? Ba, 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 ba. Okay. All right. So Pinda went with C, Lena. And let's find out if Twitch chat did agree. So oh. guys, you guys in Twitch chat, we need you to click on your screens right now for what you think the correct answer is. And uh, that will let us know exactly who is the recommendation from you guys. Clicking on your screens to choose your answers and help Theban out. Or not, as you guys can decide, you know, I don't know where your allegiances lie. Come on chat, help me out. What's the guys. answer here, chat? <laughs> All right. I can tell you that uh, the answer which Twitch has chosen is C by okay. uh, 100%, actually. 100% they've gone for C. All right. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to go with C as well. They agree then. All right. You're going to take up the recommendation, which means we've got both of you going for C. And the answer is C. It is indeed Lena. So uh, that is a uh, another draw. Oh. So. In my chat. <laughs> Panda, did you know that one? Yeah, I was confused between Snapfire and Lena, but I knew it was Lena somehow because I haven't played her at all in the Agonyms. 
Right. Oh, good, good, good answering. Good answering. Good quizzing coming out from you so far from Panda. Showing up here <laughs> oh. in this uh, first round. Let's move on to question number five. This is where things start to get a little bit harder. So let's get straight into it. After picking the plus three hits to kill Phantom Talent, how many hero hits does it take to kill Grimstroke's Phantom's Embrace? Bit of a wordy one here. Is it A, four? Is it B, five? Is it C, six? Or is it D, seven? Now, this is, of course, Grimstroke's Phantom Embrace, his silence, where his wife, if you read into the spell, weirdly, comes out at you, latches onto you, and silences you. You can kill it and remove the silence, but how many hits does it take when you take the talent to kill off this phantom? What? Um, I'm gonna go with Twitch chat. You're gonna please. go with Twitch chat as well? Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty, okay. And Thibin has answered already, so uh, that means we can get Twitch chat in straight away, guys. So once again, we need you to uh, click on your screens. Let us know um, who you think is the answer for this one. Is it A, B, C, or D? Click on your screens right now, and uh, you can tell us what you believe the answer to be. Click away, folks. Help out Panda. And we'll see where you guys... Answer, guys. Come on. Be clicking. We're, we're going to beat Tevin at his own game. <laughs> got to beat him. we got some early votes coming in. It's looking like it's uh, heading towards C, a bit of D. Make up Bit your of mind, here. Twitch. Yeah, I can't decide. I can't decide. I think it's C. All right. Or D. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's actually a fifty-fifty split between C and oh, D. No. Oh, this isn't very helpful, Twitch chat. You're not really helping out Ooh. very much. I'm gonna go with C. Going with C, okay, all right. And Theban, I can agree which he also went with C, so we got another same vote here. But I can actually <laughs> reveal that you guys are both wrong. It's 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 actually A, four. Oh! Wait, what? This is, yeah, oh yeah, this is a very interesting one, and a very stupid one as well, um, because Grimstroke, so if, if you read the description of Grimstroke's um, silence, it actually says, um, the hits required to kill off the phantom is based on the creep hits it takes. So plus three creep hits is actually just one regular hit, and the hero hit type counts for times three. So technically, this talent actually just adds one more hit onto the phantom, so it brings it from three to four. A lot of people don't know this, but yeah, I mean, this is an interesting interaction with Grimstroke's talent. Oh, so it only adds yeah. one more hit onto the counter, making it four hits to take it on down. So yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Very interesting and strange and poorly worded interaction from Valve there. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, it's caught you both out. Bringing us into question number six, the final question here at the Dota gameplay. It is, what is Woodland Striders Active called? Is it A, Woodland Striders? Is it B, Woodland Stride? Is it C, Tree Walk? Or is it D, Reforestation? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Like I said, they do get harder as time goes on, and this one is... Oh uh, my god. Why lie, guys? It's a bit of a shit shot, unless you really like reading the descriptions of, uh, of items. I'm gonna read more after this. Yeah, after this yeah, song. I mean, there's some, there's some crazy stuff in the description of items, won't lie. Alright, I'll go. I'll do my best. Oh... I think I'm gonna mess up here. Um, okay. Well, let's try this is your chance to get ahead of me, Pinda. <laughs> here you go. I know. So this is this is my. Take it. <laughs> I love those cries of anguish. It's what we strive oh. for on this show. I feel like I know nothing about this game. I feel like I don't know, man. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go with the. Alrighty. Well, uh, Thuban, you've put uh, B. And Pinder, you've put A. So, uh, yeah. any any reasoning behind your answers here, guys? Kevin, why would you well, choose B, huh? I mean, it just sounds like grammatically correct, so I just went with that. Wow. <laughs> so you okay? I went with A because I I think this is a this is a mind trick question. So and the answer is in the tip. question. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, so one, one of you has pluralized, and one of you has unpluralized. That is that is the only difference here. An S makes a difference between your two answers. 
and I can actually reveal that it's Theban who gets this one right. It is indeed the Woodland Stride Thank you. is the correct Thank answer. You. Swaggering out of this gameplay section uh, with the uh, singular point advantage, bringing it four to three. Dang, very close. Very close already, guys. Well, uh, Theban, how are you feeling coming out of that one with the one point advantage? Um, one, it's a lot closer than I thought it would be, that's for sure. It is indeed. I thought it was going to blow Pinda out of the waters, but you she's good. You got lucky. Good. You got <laughs> good. lucky, man. It's a, it's a sweaty show. It's a sweaty show. Alrighty, guys. Well, it is now time to jump in to the first Puck of Luck segment. So, let's explain. What you're seeing on your screen right now, it's a Puck with a flicker, meaning that he's going to jump in a random direction into one of these heroes, or possibly the Dust Off appearance. Now, each thing gives you a buff you can use, except the Axe, who will kill you and get rid of the point. Now, only Pinda Panda can spin the Puck of Luck, because she is the one who is behind. So, Pinda Panda, do you want to spin the Puck of Luck, run the risk yes. of possibly losing that point? She's just going straight in. She's just going straight in. Yes, I love this. Please. Yes. Straight away. Alrighty then. Well, let us spin the Puck of Luck, and straight away gets over to the Axe. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Aww. That's a call for you, Panda. Aww. I'm very sorry. Oh, God. Aww. There it goes. There goes that point. It is the risk with the Puck of Luck. It is that 20% chance, but that's going to bring you down to two points. Oh, dear. Um, you know, the puck giveth and the puck taketh away. I'm very sorry about that one, but let us move through to our next segment of the game show. And, of course, we're going to move along to general knowledge now. So we're uh, going to stretch your brains a little bit, move in a different direction, and uh, have a little bit of worldly knowledge. All right, let's get straight into it. Question number one. What nationality was Genghis Khan? Was it A, Inuit? Was it B, <laughs> Mongolian? Was it C, American? Or was it D, Soviet? Pinda is like praying that she got the spin right now, you know, the double down right here. Because she got this, she's like, oh, easy. My bad, I was overconfident, I shouldn't have gone with it. I lost a point, but oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully you can recover those points. You have both gone for B, Mongolian, and you are both indeed correct as well. Genghis Khan was, of course, a... Uh, Crazy, crazy guy. The highest kill count in uh, in history, and uh, he was indeed Mongolian as well. I was hoping you'd get it wrong. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's not an Inuit, which is actually a, uh, someone who lives in the icy cold, or an American or a Soviet, unfortunately. Already, how good is your guys' music knowledge? Because uh, that's what our next question is yeah. about. Uh-oh. <laughs> what song is currently number one on the global billboard charts? That is the general charts used for deciding what song is most popular right now. Is it A, WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion? Is it B, Mood, which is by uh, 24K Golden and Ian Dior? Is it D, uh, sorry, C, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd? Or is it D, Dynamite by BTS? How good is your guys popular knowledge on music? Mine's terrible, as you can probably tell. I greatly struggled okay. with these pronunciations. How do I take my 50-50? How do you take your 50-50? You don't have one, Thibon. You need to get I the puck of luck one? to get the 50-50. Oh, no, you, oh. need to get the, you need to get it from the puck of luck. So Damn you just it. gotta go in blind here, son. Make the guess. What are you getting, Pinda? What are you taking here? <laughs> no, this is... It's, um... just gonna go with i don't know i don't know why why you asked me did you answer he hasn't answered yet can't reveal that Penda has answered like it I, like I feel like it's no all right we, we both answered so you can talk through your deciding now uh Penda, you went with d um what, yeah. what, what's your what's your working out here yes dps is obviously <laughs> number like literally they're they're dominating the world and there's no way their song is not on the global billboard charts number one it's for sure army is crazy and i've seen it yeah okay okay, okay. steven you agree so i i went with d because i thought pinda was gonna go for d um and i wanted to at least get the same answer as her tactical tactical i like <laughs> the place here oh, steven and well Unfortunately, neither of you are correct. It is, in <laughs> fact, Mood by uh, oh, 24K. Wow. Yeah, entering the charts last Jeez. week and securing a number one spot. No idea what the song is. Never listened to it in my life. Uh, have you guys neither. ever heard it? No. Oh. Nope. No. Okay, well, you know, some, some fresh new music coming into the charts, but apparently it takes number one. So, um, yeah, that's when apparently not down with yeah. the kids, unfortunately. A show for old wow. people. 
All right, let's move on to question number three of the general knowledge round. Which of these is not a capital city? Is it A, Mumbai? Is it B, Lisbon? Is it C, Stockholm? Or is it D, Buenos Aires? Probably butchered the pronunciation of that one, but, uh, you know, there we are. Uh, these are cities from around the world, very high population cities, but which of these is not a capital? How good are you guys on your geography? Have you traveled far and wide across the land? Okay. I've answered. All right, All right you're going for it. Okay, so uh, we'll start with Theban. What did you go for, son? Uh, D. And for D, Buenos Aires. Yes! Okay. Oh, oh, no, Pinder with the I confidence! Wrong, you went with A, Pinder. Uh, yeah. How, no. how confident are you on this one? 100%. Delhi is the capital city of India. New God Delhi. damn it. Too specific. Bang, absolutely yeah. right. Straight in the Pinder. Yep. That's another point going to uh, Pinder Panda. <laughs> drawing it to 5 bonuses. 4. <laughs> very mm. good, very good. Yeah, absolutely right. Mumbai is not the capital of India. It is indeed New Delhi. Lisbon is the capital of Portugal. Oh. Stockholm is the capital of Sweden. And uh, Buenos Aires is the capital of Argentina, I believe. I had no so, idea. Into the final question, yeah. our general knowledge round. Which of these flavors does not occur in the classic bubblegum flavor? Bubblegum flavor is, of course, a cocktail of different tastes mixed up to create that classic bubblegum flavor. Is it A, banana? Is it B, cinnamon? Is it C, pineapple? Or is it D, grape? These is not included in the bubblegum flavor. This uh, question actually came up from a discussion in our household where um, me and my, uh, my partner couldn't, couldn't agree on uh, what bubblegum actually tasted like. And it resulted in a very furious wikipedia match. Um, oh. Yeah. I feel like what this is, is a trick question. Oh. It's a strange one. It's a strange one, that's for sure. Think about bubblegum. Think about it in your mouth. Crunching in your okay. teeth. Chewing it. What flavour is there? What flavour is not there? Stephen has answered. And Pinda has a two. All right, I'm, I'm just shooting in the dark with these ones. <laughs> shooting in the dark. I, I never a dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephen has gone with uh, C, pineapple. And Pinda has gone with B, cinnamon. Uh, any of you remotely confident in these answers? I'm not. I think it was pineapple. I think it is. I, I, honestly, pineapple. I, I'm just imagining pineapple. It must taste so disgusting. Like, yeah, in, in bubble gum. So I just went with it. Sure. And I, I don't think I've ever heard of a pineapple bubble gum flavor. All right. I've, well, I've had it, I think, but I've never had cinnamon, so I'm, good. I'm kind of confused now. The correct answer is actually D, grape. Um, Damn so, it! Twitch chat got it right as well. Oh, but... that was my second guess. Yeah, yeah, the grape is not there in that classic cocktail. Um, yeah, if you want to make that uh, classic bubblegum flavor, you mix uh, banana, cinnamon, pineapple, cloves, and I think orange? I, can't, I, can't, I actually can't Close. remember off the top of my head. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, I know, it's a weird, weird taste going in in that concoction to make that bubblegum uh, taste, but yeah, it is indeed uh, not grape. No grape in there anywhere to be found, Jeez. which leaves yeah. us at the end of this section, halfway through the show nearly, at a 5-4 to four wow. scoreline. Very, very close here. Pinda trailing only by a singular point. Thuban a little <laughs> bit further ahead, but... Uh, you know what, guys? We're at the halfway point. It's time for that all-important guest question. This question is worth two points here, so oh. very important if you can get this one right. And today, cool. we have the ex-coach of uh, Team Chaos, Mr. T. Governor here, to deliver us this question. Which player from the 2019 Chaos Esports Club TI roster yeah, we can't drank the most Coca-Cola? Oh, okay. Let's see the question. One, Matumberman. Two, Misery, three Milan, or four Kazu. <laughs> uh, so yeah, dude, that question was just again: which player from the 2019 Chaos Esports Club TI roster drank the most Coke? Is it A. Matumaman? Is it B. Misery? Is it C. Milan? Or is it D. Kazu? Who do you think is a Coke drinker here, guys? I mean, it really does just come down to what you think of these people. Looking into their eyes, do they have those wild eyes of someone sugarated and caffeinated and amped up on, on, on that sweet, delicious sugar drink, or not? I think he has got this, because from these people... I don't! I, I don't got this. Yeah, it's, it's who drinks the most coke? 
I, I, everyone, right? Is there an option E? <laughs> right, I just, everyone. I just, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, if it's gone with a guess, Panda, waiting on you. What? Who do you think it is? You can say it out loud if you want. Who, who you think? Yeah. Do you I'm think just thinking about the people. Yeah, like you said. Like just thinking of like how they act. Out, you know. You I don't think it's Minyu. Yeah. I've think never seen. I, I know. I'm, I'm gonna go with Misery on this one. Misery. Mm. Or, okay. Ooh, okay. Are you sure about that? Mm. Gonna be in a C. Well, let's find out who the correct answer was. Is it Matuma oh. Man? Don't tell me it's Matuma Man. Well, could be the answer is Matuma Man. He drank an unhealthy amount of Matuma Man! Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yep, yeah. So you can't really complain. Some good lip reading, man. It is Matuma Man! It is no! Matuma Man! Oh. Yeah, you guys both actually seem to know it in the backs of your minds, but didn't quite bring it to the front. Yeah, Matuma Man is the Coke drinker, of Damn course. Uh, yeah. No. Misery oh. Milan, apparently not that keen on it. Kezu, of course, you know, he's only drinking Bitburger, that sweet, delicious 0% German beer which sponsors him, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah never it's Matuma. Yeah. Damn it, I, I thought it was that. Milan. Because I, I, I don't know anything about him. <laughs> No points for anybody then coming through the guest question, bringing us through to Dota Law. But first, let's have a quick reflection on the points. We are now at five points for one, four, three, seven, and four points for Pinda Panda coming halfway through the show. Uh, Theban, how are you feeling? Did you expect you'd be a little bit further ahead than this? Yes, I feel kind of bad, actually, that I don't have a bigger lead. No cushion for me. Ooh, it's no cushion at all. No, Panda, you're breathing down yeah. his neck. Do you think you got him in the second half? I could have beat him. I could have had two answers correct and i could have not gone for the puck but could be even still, right I'm, now yeah yes so she's self-destructing this is what yeah, i need you'd be even even now if you didn't have that puck of luck uh, deep deep breaths panda deep breaths as we are going to hand it over to our resident law expert anger who makes youtube videos for law stuff on dota um she's very good at this stuff and i'm absolutely terrible at it so we're going to hand it across to anger she's going to take you through these questions enjoy thank you nomad let's get into the first question who cleaved Juggernaut's mask in half? Was it A. Beastmaster, B. Troll Warlord, C. Anti Mage, or D. Sven? Is you know, your voice, your voice is so amazing, and <laughs> I was gonna say the same. I was gonna say the same. Stop, stop <laughs> copying my answers, man. <laughs> it's like so mesmerizing, you know. It's like wow. Yeah, I exactly. I, I know I've, I've heard this voice before. I think I was watching a Dota Underlords video, and she was talking. She was talking a story, right? Something regarding Mama lore. Eve. Yeah, bot lore. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm very um, honored. <laughs> who cleaved Juggernaut's mask in half? You go for Twitch chat? No way. All right, I, I got know. this. I got this. Boom! Let's go. Let's go, Pinda. Get your answer in. Swap? No, you don't have a swap. You got axe in the face. Who? Um, I don't know, but I'm just gonna go with my guts on this one. I think. It has to be. I don't know. Okay, one, four, three, seven. You went with D. Can you explain why you did that? Uh, because in the back of my mind, I think there's some interactions between Juggernaut and Sven in Dota. So I assume that's what it was about. And yeah, <laughs> the, the, some voice lines, I believe, in game. So that that's just what came to mind. You are 100% correct. It is D, Sven. In an unspecified... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to hear so this. I want to hear this. In an unspecified event, possibly a duel, Sven cleaved your nurse mask in two, cracking it and awakening the ancestral souls that lay dormant inside it. So it is indeed Sven. Which means both of you got it right. Oh okay. no, Pinda! You did it! You got you for Sven too! Oh sorry, Pinda. I forgot to It's alright. But you I'm... thought you're the only one who knows about it. it come on, man. I, I, I kinda I was remembering the chat lines too and then I remember <laughs> the notes. As well. All right. Well, I told you, you're copying my answers. I don't know why, though. I just don't understand how you get my answers. Dude, you know at the back of your head that I beat you. I actually beat you. I was going to go with D in the first question, and I did the puck of luck, which was my bad, but whatever. Yeah. 
Okay, on to the next question. Which Dota character references Shakespeare in their voice lines? Is it A. Windrunner, B. Warlock, C. Naga Sirens, or D. Puck? Which Dota character references Shakespeare in their voice Ooh. lines? Oh, this is hard. Do you know this one? Even? I bet yeah. you do. Yeah, I do. You it's do? Warlock. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thanks for the... Okay, so now I have three options. Okay. <laughs> Shakespeare. Okay, Her. so Panda, you went with A. Why is that? I don't know. Windranger seems such a romantic person, a romantic hero. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of Naga Side, and I'm like, she'd rather be in the sea, you know? She's not interested in romance. She just wants to be in the sea. I'm like, Puck. What well, Puck? Puck could be. Oh, no, not really. I think it's Windranger. She's the only one who has like flawless hair and everything, and she definitely is looking for her. <laughs> I don't know, knight in sh shining armor? <laughs> so I'm just... Yeah, that, that's my reason. And what about you, 1437? You went with well, me. Yeah, because Warlock seems very Shakespeare, you know, with the voice lines that he, <laughs> that he says. Yeah, I actually went with it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I, I thought that's what it would be, so let's see. Well, both of you got it wrong, because it is indeed Puck. Puck no! is a martial character of the same name. Oh, sorry. Go with Puck. I don't know. I'm like, I was like, oh, it can't be Puck. Like Puck, Shakespeare. Why? Puck is just so magical. But Wind Ranger on the. Uh, dang it! <laughs> well, it is because Puck pays homage to a character of the same name from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. He also has a lot of voice oh. unspoken in a very Shakespearean way. Oh, that's wow. cool. I didn't know. Wow. Me neither. Would have been my second guess. De definitely wouldn't have gone with Windrunner. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, number three. What's the name of the organization Anti-Mage, among others, is part of that catches bad magic abusers? Is it A, the Tyler Estate, B, the Jasper Circle, C, the Sapphire Archons, or D, the Nivan Galants? Oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it feels like history just hit me in the face, but this is not even history. Come on, Binda, you got this. I don't! I don't! <laughs> I can't even pronounce the fire organs. The band gallons. Jasper. Okay. Come on, Pinda. I didn't even, I didn't even know there was another organization. It's <laughs> cool. Okay, um. This is pretty badass. That should give me nurtures. Come on. I think. Uh, You're gonna lose yeah, a point pretty... here. You're gonna lose a point. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna lose a point for sure. I'm just. I lost. I lost this one for sure. So Go. You ended up going for B. Why? Did, why did you do that? Cause um, cause my sixth sense says it's B, but I think it's C. Yeah, I think that's my reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, 1437 got this one right because it is A, the Tyler Estate. Oh, Tyler Estate. Estate. There's, there's no way I could have gotten this correct. Yeah, yeah. Anti Mage hunts down evil magic abusers and delivers them to the Tyler Estate for punishment. Ah. Uh, Paul. Now, this, this you had. On me because uh, there's no way I would have answered this correctly. Yeah, I only knew that because of um, the artifact. There was a card, Tatter Estate, that like removed the enemy's mana or something. Oh, yeah. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number four What race is Nikes the Lifestealer? Is he A, a human? B, a zombie, C, an oglody, or D, a troll? I mean, he walks like a human. 
Maybe that's <laughs> what? What human walks on all fours? I do. What, 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 where are you from, Pinda? Where are you of from? Mars. It has teeth like that? Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you answer? Yeah, I have. I got this wrong too. I, I kind of know it's from C and D, but... Okay, you one, four, three, seven. Mm -hmm. He went for C. Why is that? Yeah. Um... I'm. I don't think it's zombie, uh, and I don't think it's troll. I don't think it's human. So I just went up glory. <laughs> what was your reasoning, Panda? You also went to see. Yeah, oh, there's no way he's human, it. and there's no way he's zombie. Right? Zombie would walk up straight. Troll. There's no way he looks like troll. So I went uh, with C as well, Glody. Well, you're That's both. Amazing. You're both correct. Right! It is C, though, Glody. Uh, it still sucks. He got a point. Nyx is an Aglody who got a life sentence in prison. In order to make the punishment as harsh as possible, he was put under a longevity spell so he could suffer for an eternity. That is why he's so grotesque looking. And not- wow. he doesn't look like Axe at all. Wow, right. I love this Dota history, it's amazing. Exactly, it's- it's insane. I, I just feel like, whoa, I didn't know that. And with the- and with the soothing voice too, oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And with That's that, it. back to you, Nomad. I felt like you guys are going to be quite disappointed with my my new voice back, but uh, yeah, thank Damn you very it. much, Anger, and of course, head over to YouTube, Anger Mania, to check out her lore videos and expand your minds on all things Dota lore, but uh, yeah, after that one, we're uh, eight and six, so I did manage to get a singular oh. point ahead. Panda, you are behind, but guess what? You have another chance here if you want to try it. The puck of luck is yours to grab, and don't forget oh. this last round is worth double points. Are you going to risk it? Surely you can't hit the axe twice, right? I know, it's you up got to it. you. Come on, come on, Finda, take it. Take it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it, what the hell? She's gonna go for it. Alrighty, yeah. spinning the puck of luck once again. Where will it land? Press that flicker! Yeah! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, what did you get? What is that? That is a venge, which means you get yourself the swap. So, oh, Panda, no. in one of these questions, you can actually write swap and then a different answer uh, in instead of your actual answer, and then Theban will be forced to take your answer, and you will take his answer. And of course, you won't know this is happening, so just type swap and the answer you want him to have, and then you will take his answer in one of these questions. And now we are into the <laughs> final round, it is heating up. You go anyway here as we move into the Dota Pro scene. These questions are worth two points, and there is four of them available, so let's get straight into it. Question number one. What country is the team Na'Vi based in? Is it A, Russia? Is it B, Ukraine? Is it C, Belarus? Or is it D, Kazakhstan? Na'Vi, the famous organization. One of the most famous organizations in Dota's history. Struggling for the past few years, but with some truly epic plays in the past. Which may be coming up in the future. Who knows? Who knows? But where are oh, they from? Where are they from? Even scratching that head of his. Really trying to dig deep. Alrighty, between, guys. Between the yep. two. Alright, Theban, what did you go for? Ukraine. That would be Ukraine, alright. Uh, you better not assault me. You better not assault me. <laughs> shall you, do you want to tell him or shall I, Panda? I swamped you! <laughs> no! I knew I should put something face. else. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> Straight in with the swap, not wasting any time. That's gonna swap them around, giving Panda Panda the B, and making Theban say Kazakhstan. I mean, Theban, what are you thinking? They're not from Kazakhstan, bro. They're not from Kazakhstan. They're from Ukraine. Panda, you're absolutely oh. right, and that's gonna draw it up to eight and eight. God, Dude, come was, on, man. You know, I was gonna. I, I knew you were gonna swap. I was gonna <laughs> put something else. That's what I was acting I like. I had no game, idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I knew. I knew it was in Ukraine. I and I knew that you knew it was in Ukraine. And I was like, okay, this is the best time to swap. I don't think you would go with the wrong answer here. <gasps> Damn it. <laughs> Thinking of making that five head play, Steve, but unfortunately he didn't, and that's gonna draw you guys even. Alrighty, let's move into question number two here in the Dota competitive scene. 
Which of these series went 2-0 in the ESL1 Germany 2020 playoffs? There's a tournament which is currently going on, but which of these matches went to 2-0, aka which one didn't go 2-1? Is it A, Secret versus Enigma? Is it B, Team Liquid versus Mud Golems? Is it C, OG versus Na'Vi? Or is it D, Viking versus Alliance? Which of these games did go to 2-0? One of these games, only one series in there. This is the upper bracket round, by the way. This is all of the upper bracket games. Uh, in the very first round of the upper bracket, the top seeded teams playing off against each other, and only one of these series was actually a 2 0 wash. But which one was it? Secret versus Enigma, Team Liquid versus Mud Golems, OG versus Navi, or Viking versus Alliance? Some of these teams, uh, a, a lot of upsets happening in this tournament so far. It's, it's, it's been pretty wild. It's been pretty wild so far, and we do have our answers coming in, guys. So, Stephen, you went with D. Oh, you went with Viking yeah. versus Alliance. Are you confident? Uh -huh. Wait. <laughs> but judging by that, I'm going to guess oh, you're not no. confident. Not the least oh, confident no. way you could have answered that. No. <laughs> Panda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm good. I think we're good. I think we're think good. You're good. All right, Panda, you went with second. C. Hmm. Okay. If you're feeling good about uh, OG versus Na'Vi being the 1-2-0, who do you think 2-0'd it? OG, if I'm not mistaken. No. I watched one of the games, but really? Uh, no, I'm indeed. Yeah, it was actually, uh, it was actually Na'Vi. Na'Vi won, right? Yeah, oh my god, victory, oh but it, no! But it was a 2-1. It was a 2-1. No, 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 I'm saying that I'm oh. saying that Na'Vi won the series, but it was still a 2-1, so Pinda Panda is not correct. Oh, and... that sucks. The series which went 2-0 was Viking versus Alliance. No! So, oh, that was the second option. Right. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Very good, tough right. question, though. Very tough question. All those games yeah. very close in the upper bracket. Hard ones. I to always all right mix up, like, Liquid and Alliance sometimes, so... Yeah, yeah. I think we all make sure got it right. The Alliance Liquid Nigma chain, which gets a bit confusing sometimes, but you do get up right, and Theven now pulling ahead by an extra two points. Of course, usually question worth two points, so Panda could still get back into this one and even take him over, but it's got to have two correct answers for Panda to be able to do this. No pressure, but let's get into the second to last question. Which of these players has never been in Team Secret? Is it A, Aoi 2000? Is it B, Misery? Is it C, Pylai Die? Or is it D, Seb? These players has never been in Team Secret. That all-star organization had so many different players coming out throughout history. But who has never been inside the org? Come on, the inner workings. Steven's feeling confident. Oh. Ah, the, the Dota Pro scene right at the end. Juicy. Oh. I know Misery's been there. I know Pi's been there. I don't remember if AI's been ever been there. Yeah, Steven Steven has answers, so you can work through your answers with us if you so wish. What are you trying Steven, to think? Even help me out here. Come on, let's make it a draw, <laughs> man. You know, okay, this is I'll be the help first you. Time so yeah. it's it's not misery and it's not pie. I will. I, I, if I could throw this on your head right now, I would <laughs> through the camera. <laughs> hey, it helped you out. <laughs> I reassured okay, you. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna. This is what I feel like. Alrighty, want... well. You guys have both gone for the same answer. You've both gone for D. Oh. And you're both absolutely correct. It is indeed oh, Seb. Oh, thank god. Good job, Pinda. And uh, sweating, sweating, and once again, keeping ourselves oh. two points behind. Oh, it is getting close. So, you can still draw, and you can still come up with the victories. We do have tie breaks in the end if you are drawn up by the end of it. So, one last question to go here, but it is the hardest question of the competitive <sighs> section. And this one is a bit of a scorcher. Let's get into it. Which of these heroes was not present in the play, which occurred in the TI2 Grand Finals between Na'Vi and IG Game 2? The play, of course, a very famous play recorded in history. It's the one where LD starts off by saying, Patience from Zoe. That is the play if you need a bit of reminding. So is it A, Faceless Void? Is it B, Enigma? Is it C, Naga Siren? Or is it D, Dark Seer? These heroes was not present in the play, that famous game, one of the biggest moments in early Dota history, which really kind of got a lot of people excited into it. Which of these heroes wasn't there? Who did yeah, I was in school, so I'm in? trying to remember. I didn't have a computer. 
I actually <gasps> wasn't watching competitive Dota at this point. This was uh, this was before my time. I was I was post this. I, uh, I got into... You know, I have an excuse. If you get this wrong, well, shame on you. <laughs> wow, you're you're already like downplaying this, huh? Okay, all right. Yeah, I was in school, so I don't know. I this is. You're too busy learning proper things, exactly. <laughs> useful things. Which oh, I don't apply at all right now in life, but Not yes, right now. okay. All right. Oh, how's school helping you answer this quiz right here, huh? I don't think I'll get this correct, so I just have to go with what I think or with my guts, basically. Deep in his answers, so you can. Let us oh, in on your exactly. your yes, yeah, indeed. Okay. You can yeah. talk us through it, Panda. I'm just thinking it could be Void. No, no, no. It's either Void or Naga. Void or Naga. For sure, it's either A or C. I'm just there's no way they could they didn't they didn't play <clears throat> like many ducks here. Um. <laughs> Dude, maybe it could be Void, but Kuno is fun. Oh, crap, okay. Uh, could could be any of them. Um, That's the nature of multiple choice questions. Okay, it has to be C or D, Dark Seer or Naga. C um, or D. Yeah. Moving around sure. the board a lot here. Could also be B. Ever thought of that? No, nah, but it's <laughs> too exciting. It's too exciting. It is, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Alrighty, alrighty. You have indeed gone with D, Darkseer. Theban, you went with A, Faceless Void. Uh, what's your reasoning there, Theban? I, I'm pretty sure the play we're talking about here was a sleep into a vacuum and then black hole right after that, so there's no Faceless Void to be found. Okay. You're absolutely right. That that working hour is meticulous, Theban. <laughs> And that answer brings you to 14 points, getting the victory over Pinda Panda. <laughs> oh man, it was close in the end, it was close in the end, and you skimmed over the answer, but then you rejected it, went to a different, and then we were all over the place, Panda, <laughs> unfortunately, didn't quite get there in the end. But, uh, Theban, do you know what you've won? What did I win? Absolutely nothing, because we're not sponsored yet, but, uh, maybe next Damn. time, hey? But, uh, Panda, nothing for you either, unfortunately, and you don't even get the pride, but, uh, did you have fun at least, Panda? <laughs> I could have beat him. No, I, I could have beat him, right? I could have beat him easily. This is the first question. <laughs> but he mind tricked me into doing Iron Ranch. He's like, oh, so you can build this and you can go into like a magic stick. And I'm like, but Ray, call him strength, but you, you, can, you can do a lot of good that, right? But I lost a <laughs> point there and I went, yeah. I'm just oh, man, <laughs> yes. Steven, he's a tricky guy, he's a tricky guy, we'll stop at nothing to get the victory, but you know, it paid off this time, 14 to 10. Theban, how are you feeling after this emphatic win? Oh, I guess the only uh, ass slapping Pinda did was our own, so... We won. <laughs> you did indeed, alrighty. Well, <laughs> congratulations Theban, and uh, commiserations Pinda Panda, but um, hopefully we'll have you back in the future for another round and maybe you to exact your revenge. And uh, thank you to everybody watching at home, but that's going to be it for episode 5 of the Mantle of Intelligence. Of course, the episodes will be all available on YouTube afterwards, and of course on the VODs here on Twitch as well. Don't forget to uh, follow the channels, of course, follow these beautiful people as well, uh, 1437X on uh, Twitch, and Pinda Pandas on Twitch as well, so uh, head over to both their channels. But from us, it is going to be goodbye, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.